In today's video, I'm gonna show you five tips that you need to know about Canva to save yourself so much time when making your KDP books. Canva is a super powerful tool and so many people don't utilize its full functionalities. So in this video, like I say, I'm gonna show you five tips to maximize your use of Canva. So the first tip I'm gonna teach you is all about text alignment. So let's just say for this example, you were making a KDP interior where you just needed all the text to be spaced evenly, both on the left-hand side and also um, vertically. What you would do for, if you were doing something like a quiz book, you might have question one here, and then you might copy this and put question two, and then question three, all the way down to the bottom. And you'd manually be dragging and dropping all of these in here. So let's just say you had all of these different examples here, and you had to manually drop them in. What you can do is do it manually, but that takes a lot of time. Instead on Canva, all you need to do is just make sure your top and your bottom text boxes are where you want them to be. So make sure, for example, this is on the left position. Then make sure this isn't central. Make sure this is on the left. And then also do the same with the bottom text box. And just put this right down to the bottom of where you want the last text box to be. And they are the only two things that Canva are going to um, kind of use as, re use as reference points in this example. Highlight every single bit of text and just press position and then just press align elements left. And what that's gonna do is gonna place every single piece of text that you've highlighted to the leftmost position of any other text box, which like I say, has been this top and bottom example here. And what you might do there, you might wanna kind of automatic or manually kind of make sure these are just about the same sort of distance between each other. Instead of doing that, what you can do again is highlight everything here, go back to this position box and then just press space evenly vertically. And what that's gonna do is have the, exactly the same vertical distance between each different text box here. And that's gonna save you so much time. So not only does it save you time, it also guarantees that everything is absolutely where it needs to be. Cause if you do it manually, there is room for human error here. Things might not be quite as they need to be. Um, so that's one way you can save loads of time on Canva using text alignment. So the second Canva tip I'm gonna show you here is all about brand colors. So when you're making a design in Canva and you wanna use kind of similar colors, you usually just get given a default kind of batch of colors to use and you have to manually go through and find the right color for you. If you're using the same colors throughout a design, you can make sure they're already there for you in your brand kit. So every single time that I go onto Canva now, these four colors are colors that I use very frequently. They're the ones that are always gonna be there, so don't have to manually go through and copy and paste the hex codes from online and put them in there. They're already gonna be there in my brand kit. So setting up a brand kit is super, super crucial. All you need to do is go to canva.com forward slash brand, and then just go to this brand colors down here, and then just add a color palette. So you can add one here as your default one, you can add a second one if you need to, and just add your very own colors to your palette. So let's just say your brand logo was this kind of purple, you wanna make sure you're using that purple way more often than loads of other colors here. So you wanna add it to your brand kit. And then once you've done that, go back into Canva and that should update now and you will have that purple in your brand kit. So rather than having to manually go through and find that color every single time, which it can be quite long if you do it that way, you now have that purple in your brand kit and you can use exactly that hex code every single time. So brand kits are the second tip in this um, KDP uh, Canva tip video and they're really useful for saving you loads of time when finding the right colors for your designs. So this next tip isn't actually in Canva itself, but it's super useful for Canva. It's actually a Google Chrome extension called Colorzilla. And what this essentially does is allows you to pick any sort of color from your screen and grab the hex code from that. So if you see a really cool color that you want to have in your design, you can literally pick it using the Colorzilla extension. So just go to the Chrome web store, type in Colorzilla, and it's this one with this cool kind of um, colored image. Go back to Canva, and let's just say I was making a book for Chinese New Year, and I wanted to make um, a front cover that had the same color red as the Chinese flag. I'd literally go up to my Colorzilla button up here, press into this and then just highlight over the flag of the color I wanted, which is gonna be this red of the Chinese flag. Click that and what it's gonna say is color copy to clipboard up here. And then go back through, and let's just say I was making um, the front cover. So I just needed a square with that Chinese red on it. Just put this square in here. That's a terrible example of a square, SQ, it's about square wrong. Bear with, put square in. Let's just say this was my front cover. I'd put this massive square over the top as my front of my book. And I wanna have that Chinese red. And because it's already um, added to my clipboard from Colorzilla, I just press Control V and it's gonna paste that red in there. And that's exactly the red that I had from that Chinese flag. So that's a really quick way of grabbing different hex code colors from any sort of 
color that you see on on the web on any sort of website what you can also do if you want to go one step further is then just add this hex code to your brand kit like i showed you in the previous tip and then you have really quick access to this color every time you need so colorzilla is the third really good canva tip that i'm going to show you in this video so my next tip is going to be all about adding borders to shapes and until recently rather embarrassingly i didn't know this was actually a thing so what i wanted to do when i used to want to create a box so boxes are really common if you're making some sort of kdp interior so the box maybe put a question in or to put some sort of aspect of your kdp interior and in, they're really important to have so let's just say I wanted to make a white box. What I previously would have done is made this square and then just made this a white color. And then also gone back into here, look at lines and shapes and try to find myself, um, sorry, another square that's going to be my border. So just go to square here. I'd find something like this and I'd try and use this as my kind of border to my square. Actually, that's the really the wrong way to do it. You can do absolutely everything already with this initial square shape. You just need to make sure you're using the lines and shape section here because that's actually from Canva. Go up to this button here and just press border style and you can see your border weight here. You can add different sizes and how thick you want your border to be. You can add border corner rounding. So if you want it to be a round corner, you can do that. And you can also change the type of border that you have. So you can be super flexible. And this actually took me so long to realize you could do. It's not just squares. You can do this with any sort of shape you want. So if you wanted to have a triangle, square uh, shapes that are typically quite hard to have borders for, you can add any sort of border you want to any sort of shape. So that's a really cool way of adding squares and rectangles to your kind of interior and make them more professional looking. Because if you just have a square that is kind of not outlined by anything on the side, it doesn't look quite as professional. Whereas if you actually have that black border, it just allows it to stand out a lot more and it's really good. And I use them in pretty much every single KDP interior that I make. So adding borders to squares can be super easy by just going into this border settings up here at the top. So the final Canva quick tip I'm going to show you in this video is all about text effects. Now, all you need to do for text effects is drop any sort of text you want in here and then go up to this effects button in here. And there's so many different ways you can use text effects to your advantage. As I showed you in the quote coloring book, Splice is a really good one. It just gives you an outline of your of your text. Right, let's make this as it was, direction as uh, zero. And the offset, basically just pull that down, right down to zero. And you can actually now have a background for your text. So I just showed you how to make a background for your shapes. You can also have it with your text. So the Splice is a really good option. And again, if you wanted to have this as a quote coloring book, you can just do that. And also now you can start coloring in these texts. So that's the uh, kind of effect that I use for any sort of quote coloring book. Loads of different effects though. You can have kind of um, shadows, you can have a hollow text, you can have lifts. And one thing I do really like as well is the background effects. If you wanted to put some text behind, uh, a background, sorry, behind some text, what I previously would have done is just put the text as it was, kind of like that, and then just put a, a shape behind it and use that as my background. But that's actually not at all the best way to do it. Just go over to effects and have a play around with lots of these. You can put a background in there. You can make it black. You can make it any sort of color. You can make it orange. And you also curve your text. You want to put your text around a certain object, especially if you're designing a logo. This is super important. So have a play around with loads of different effects in Canva. And they're really, really important. Again, you can change how much curvature you have on your text. So have a play around with these and these will save you so much time. So there are five really good strategies for saving yourself loads of time on KDP. When you're making your interiors on Canva, the vast majority of my interiors on KDP are done through Canva. So this has saved me hours on my KDP journey. If you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like and also comment down below what sort of videos you want me to see covered on this channel and subscribe for more KDP content. And I will see you in the next one.